audio jungle. Let's get away from the hustle and bustle and have fun falling in horse chicken. Let's see me dance like a fiddle in the puddle. I love my horse chicken. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Arya, today we are going to talk about the conditional statements. Arya, throughout the day, we come across many conditional things. For example, if you are hungry, then go and eat food. If you are thirsty, have some water. Right? If you are feeling cold, then wear some jacket. No, if you are feeling cold, take some blanket. Yes, if you are feeling very cold, then you can take some blanket also. So today we are going to talk about the conditional statements. Okay? This is Arya's old and even game where there is a cat here and there is a dog here. So cat moves only if an even number comes in a dice. Arya, which are even numbers? Yeah, two, four, six. Correct. And so if two, four or six will come in a dice, then cat will move forward that much space. And if an odd number comes, then the dog moves. Arya, what are the odd numbers? Yeah, one, three, five. Correct. So in a dice, if one, three and five will come, then the dog will move forward. And the, if the even number will come, the cat will move forward. So here, roll the dice, roll the dice for me please. What is the number? Four. Four is odd or even? Even. So who will move? Five. Ah, four. Cat will move or dog will move? Are you who will move? Cat. Cat will move. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh yes. One, two, three, four. So cat has moved four spaces up. So now I will roll the dice. Is this odd or even? Odd. Odd. So who will move? Cat or dog? Yeah. Yes. Move forward. One space forward. Good job. Arya, so here what exactly we are doing? We are following the if and else conditions here. If there is an even number, then cat will move. And if it is an odd number, then the dog will move. Right? So here this is an example of a if else condition. In the next example, we are going to use this playing cards. And in this playing cards, what you have to do is you will take one card at a time, you will show the card and see whether this card is black or red. If it is black, then you have to keep in this pile and if it is red, you will keep in this pile. Understood? Do it now. Open the card please. Take one card. Open it. Show me. This is black or red? Black. Black color. Which way it will go? Yes, in this. Take, take another one. Yes. Now this is again. Watch which color is this? Black. Yes. Correct. Do it again. Which color? Red. So it will go in the yeah. red pile. So Arya, what we are doing here? We are picking a card, checking the condition of the color. So what color is this card? If it is red, it will go on top of the red cards. And if it is black, it will go on top of the black cards. Do you understand? Here we have used the if and else conditions. Here is another example. Arya, if for next 10 seconds you will not speak, you will keep quiet, then I will tell you a finger puppet story like this or else you have to clean your room. Okay? So can you do that? Your time starts now. You were keeping quiet. So now I have to tell her a finger puppet story. Oh. <laughs> I will tell you after this video, okay? Mama, can you give me one more example? You want more example? Why don't you tell me some example? Oh, you can make a fun example. Okay, guys. Yes. Mama, when, when I will miss my dad, I miss my dad, I, I will call him in my phone. Oh, so when you will miss your dad, you have to call him? Yeah, you should call him. Okay, okay. What is his number? Okay, this is her dummy phone and she's gonna call. Hi, Dad. It's you. Yes, good job. Arya, can you give me more examples? Yes, Mama. If I have a song, then I can get in the 
the chalkboard. Correct. If you have a chalk, you can write on the chalkboard. Because we don't use the chalk on the whiteboard. But if you have a marker, then you can write on the whiteboard, whiteboard and not on the chalkboard. Correct? Very good example you've given, Arya. Thank you so much. Okay? Okay, Maria. Now, let's see a few more examples to understand conditional statements better. If it's my happy birthday today, then all these things can happen. I can play with the balloon, dance with the balloon, have a party with my friends, cut a cake, my birthday cake. Also, I can open the gifts given by my friends. We have all seen traffic lights on the road. If it is red, then we should stop. Arya and her friends were playing in the playground. They were enjoying nicely, but suddenly rain started coming. So now they cannot play anymore outside in the playground. Because if it is raining outside, they can play only indoors in the house. So now they were running to the house to play inside their house. Bye bye. See you again. See you again. My kiss first. Make it work. Make it right. Make it fast with a cautious flight.